In our daily life, we meet many other peoples. They look very healthy and strong in the body. They look fatty, but they are not interested in doing any work. They mostly look tired. They may mostly look fatigued in spite of having fatty body. And some of the people are very slim, looks very weak, but very energized, having high amount of energy. You know how is that? Why is that so? We are going to discuss in today's topic. So listen the video till the end. Our today's topic is the second important gland of our endocrine system, the duct clay system that is called a thyroid gland. Thyroid gland is second gland after we study pituitary gland, but it is the largest gland of our endocrine system. The smallest one is pituitary gland, note that point. Thyroid gland is of 1.6 to 2 centimeter approximately and its weight is 10 to 20 gram in adult human being. Thyroid gland is bilobed gland. The first we discuss its location. It's located just below our Adam's apple. This extended structure uh, on inside our neck is called Adam's apple. This comes out when we hit puberty. Just below that there is a the, the tube we call it respiratory tube wise trachea or sound pipe on that pipe there is a bilobed structure butterfly shaped bilobed structure which is called thyroid gland here you can see in this picture this is thyroid gland thyroid gland is important because it controls and maintains all the metabolic activities and breaking down of food happening inside our body Thyroid gland is activated by the hormone of pituitary gland called TSH or thyroid stimulating hormone. This hormone is released by pituitary gland. It acts upon thyroid gland and activates the thyroid gland. When thyroid gland is activated, it releases two important hormones. Number one is T3 or also known as a triiodothyronin. Triiodothyronin because it, it contains three molecules of iodine and second important second hormone is T4 also known as tetraiodothyronin the third name of T4 or tetraiodothyronin is thyroxine hormone these both hormones when are released in our body they go into the body increase the metabolism they break down carbohydrates they break down glucose the same thing carbohydrates and it's a, it's monomer of Glucose is monomer of single unit of carbohydrate. They break down glucose, they break down proteins, they break down fats and lipids and do not allow the deposition of fats inside our body because they are breaking according to the need of the body. When the body needs energy, they break down these substances and provides energy so that we feel hunger. So, you know, which what controls hunger, when, why, how we feel hungry when body needs energy with intake glucose so it's broken down by under the influence of hormone of thyroid gland when this hormones are these both hormones are released normally they controls the metabolic rate of the body keeps our body normal to keep thyroid gland working normally or to maintain the health of thyroid gland we should intake iodine or iodized salt in our daily intake normal person or healthier person should take 10 to 20 milligram of iodized salt in his daily intake it's recommended means means 10 to 20 milligram of iodized salt is recommended in our daily intake if we don't take iodized salt then these both hormones are badly affected either they're not produced or less produced then the thyroid gland gets enlarged, gets bigger in size, the condition is called goiter which is also dangerous. But an abnormal condition either it is released less or it is released more. So let's discuss, discuss one by one. When it released less in quantity means there is less metabolism, no breakdown of substances. When, when the thyroid hormone are present less in quantity in our body the condition is called hypo means less hypothyroidism hypothyroidism less hypothyroidism 
in this condition there is less metabolism breakdown of the substances in the body it means we feel fatigued because there is no production of energy and no production of energy means energy is storing inside body or we are getting fatty no energy getting fatty we we become more fatty but less energized due to the less of energy due to the lack of energy our hairs become weak our we face the condition of hair fall and also condition of there is also condition of constipation and there is uh, hypothyroidism but when this hormone is released too much in quantity the condition is called hyperthyroidism hyper means high so this hormone when there is much and more hormone is produced hormone is produced thyroid hormone the condition is called hyperthyroidism in hyperthyroidism there is a much more breakdown of uh, much more reactions of metabolism are happening inside the body much energy is produced so we feel energized we feel enthusiastic but we feel more hungry in this condition we lose mage we lose weight we bachcho maine kya likha bablu tum batao pature pature likha hai abhi kitni bar kaha tum logo ko pachar 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 mater do not get fatty but we get weaker we lose weight we do not gain weight once again in short thyroid gland look at it in the neck region it's bilobed two lobes on present of either side of either side of trachea and this is all about thyroid gland we are going to end our topic here if you have energy so your hormone is normally produced you have energy then go to the subscribe button just click on the subscribe button and then like the contents like the channel as well so thank you for much thank you so much for today